makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. So, I've been doing numerous Jimmy Dore videos, and I've noticed that they get a lot of traction. So, as an economist, I'm conscious of the, uh, in the, the market incentive for me is to keep doing more Jimmy Dore videos. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And this one's going to be a bit of a rarity, because in this one, I'm actually, I'm actually on Jimmy Dore's side. I actually agree with him, and I'm a firm believer that no matter how horrible we think someone is, if they are on the right side of history on a certain argument, if they are factually correct about something, we should have no problem agreeing with them. Uh, likewise, uh, the, the pundits or politicians or heroes that we like, when they say something that is factually incorrect or when they are giving an argument that is um, detrimental to the cause, I think they should be called out. I, I basically, what I'm trying to say is we should not have idols. Um, people are flawed. People, we will never agree with everyone on everything. And we need to be less tribal about who we support and also who we despise. So, like I said, this is going to be a generous video on Jimmy Dore. Um, this is a video that he uh, that came out a couple of days ago where he discusses critical race theory. And I think he gives some very good arguments for it. And it's, uh, it's a bit of a comedy video. He, uh, he brings in an impersonator of uh, Vince Vaughn, which uh, does an absolutely amazing job. Uh, that is the best Vince Vaughn impression that I have ever heard. And if you, if you didn't know that it was an impersonator, you would swear that it was actually Vince Vaughn. But the real point of this video um, is not so much to, uh, to, to not criticize Jimmy Dore, but actually the, the real focus of my criticism is his fans. Because after watching this video, and I'm sure that anyone who follows this channel will broadly agree with what Jimmy Dore will say in this video, but then we will look at what his fans think. And it is crazy. So let's watch the video first. Or part of it, just part of it. Vince, this is inane. Is it really? I think it's very inane. I don't think white people are better than anyone else, but I'm going to stick up for us if we get attacked. Racism goes both ways. <laughs> oh, yeah, how so? You know what? Plenty of black people say racist things against white people. They say we, we, we smell like mayonnaise and shit. <laughs> well, I for one certainly do not, and that offends me, sir. Mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they got a real thing about mayonnaise. I don't know what the fuck's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any any individual saying racist things is not systemic racism. It's the it's the systems that make it so accumulated wealth among blacks is significantly lower than for whites. It's harder for blacks to get loans or own a home. How black people are policed, convicted, and imprisoned at rates wildly higher than whites. My friend. That's all true. That's absolutely all true. Don Cheadle owns a house. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> That's not the point, Vince. That's not the point, Vince. Why is it bad to teach the truth about slavery, reconstruction, Jim Crow, and segregation in American schools? Because it's not good to dwell on the bad things in our past. Did the shot for shot Gus Van Zandt remake of Cycle that I started happen in the past? Yes, it did. But you don't see me going around dwelling on it. That would be unhealthy. <laughs> but that's what history is, Vince. It's what happened in the past. Yeah, but so much happened in the past, Jimmy. <laughs> There's been so much American history. Why can't we, we, we choose to focus on the good things that happened? Johnny Appleseed planted trees and then George Washington chopping them down. <laughs> then George Washington Carver making all that peanut shit. <laughs> He's made in Canada during the War of 1812 and winning. <laughs> so just completely ignore our racist past then? Why not? That's what I do, and I'm not racist. See how that works? You're purposely ignoring our racist past is sort of racist itself, Vince. Well, I disagree. In fact, I think we'd form a utopia if we didn't teach any of this shit. Uh, you know, then black and white children would be raised not knowing that any of this ever happened. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Vince, the idea here isn't to make everyone feel good. The idea is that we can't work to fix social inequality unless we understand its historical roots. Roots? Like that racist miniseries? How was Roots racist? All the bad guys were white. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the bad guys in slavery were white, Vince. My God, listen to yourself, Jimmy Dore. <laughs> all the bad guys are white. They've gotten to you. This critical race theory has poisoned your mind. And this is what they want for our children. I, you know, I, 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 I can't have this. I have to stop it. What, what do you mean, Vince? I'm going to get in my car, go to the nearest grade school, and raise hell. 
I'm going to bust in there, scream like a fucking madman, <laughs> interrogate teachers by yelling right in their racist faces. <laughs> I might even bring a tire iron for effect. These children need to be educated properly and feel safe doing it. Don't even try to stop me. I can't be contained. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, that was that was a good video. I think he made points that were... You, you could have heard almost word for word the exact same arguments from uh, from other progressive channels, you know, the ones that Jimmy Dore fans hate, like, I don't know, Sam Cedar uh, or the Young Turks, they would have they would have made the exact same case. Um, and it was kind of funny that that impersonator, I thought, was uh, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But guess who disagrees? His own fans. Um, his own fans just absolutely ratioed the fuck out of this video. And this is crazy. So first of all, look, like all, practically a, almost the same amount of dislikes than likes, which is rare in a Jimmy Dore video. His fans are very, very faithful to him. And nothing, like even that did not prepare me for the comments. So when I, when I uh, made this video, I saw the first couple of comments and I assumed that, well, maybe for every five negative comments, there was going to be a positive one. Maybe at worst, one out of ten. Uh, even then, I would have made this video. But I was not prepared for what I ended up finding. And so let's let's scroll down and look at just the scale of objection from his fans to this video. Critical race theory is no laughing matter. It's in large part driving the racial divide and hysteria in America. Jimmy just proved that he can be as clueless as CIA NN. That, that's like so Jimmy Dore. Everything's a, a CIA plot. All the bad guys in slavery were white. Clearly Jimmy, along with most progressives, have never picked up a history book. Really? Really? Are you joking? Um, I mean, the, the most generous interpretation of, of why someone would object to this factually correct statement is... Um, maybe they, they misunderstood it, you know, cause from, from the, uh, opposite perspective, it is true that there were, there were good white people during slavery. There were, you know, white people trying to end it, trying to protect, uh, some of the slaves. Uh, but the fact is that the bad guys were all white. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah. Listen to viewers. Don't be like, like Jenk from the Young Turks. Uh, wow. TYT level analysis there, Jimmy. I'm with Parody Vince on this one. I like a lot of Jim's content, but this stuff is where he loses me. So close, Jimmy, so close. Wow. Oh my God. And it just goes on and on and on. This whole line, CRT is just a legal theory, a similar fiction as Antifa is just an idea. Wow. It goes on. That is crazy. That is the scale of the, the right-wing reactionary fan base that he has been cultivating over the past uh, couple of years. And I, I want to explain why that is. Um, his views are... Remarkably similar in many ways, in, on many topics, with those of the populist far right. And the more that he focuses his critique against uh, the liberal establishment and not actually attack many of the talking points from the right, the more that he will find commonality with, also, with far right populists as well. And this is something that you see in uh, other shows. Like, I mean... The Jimmy Dore show might be the more extreme version because he he is a guy who who clearly does not make anything that he says sound respectable. But there are shows that do, and I have real issues with people like, for example, uh, Crystal Ball and Sagar and Jetty and their show Rising, well, now uh, Breaking Points, where they appear to have so much in common that it might make you think that uh, a left winger, a left populist, and the right populist agree on most things, when in fact the world that both sides want could not be more different. And there is also a significant reason to believe that a lot of right populists 
don't actually believe in what they say. You know, the, their criticisms of economic elites, et cetera, that you hear from people like Tucker Carlson, which is kind of the show that all these people want to be in. Uh, and they are in. Jimmy Dore has appeared on the Tucker Carlson, Carlson show. Um, but it's that ecosystem with, you know, the Crystal Balls, Sagar and Jedis, Glenn Greenwald, Matt Taibis. Um, that's the kind of narrative that they're they're promoting and they're making it seem that populism on the left and populism on the right have more things in common that they don't. And that is not true. And one has to honestly question whether people like Tucker Carlson are actually uh, really care about working people because they don't. I, I don't think they do. I think this is just a, a rhetorical strategy um, to obtain power or to promote their side from obtaining power. But in reality, I don't think, yeah, I don't think the Tucker Carlson's or the Sagar and Jetties of this world really care about working people. And that, again, that is the fan base that, that Jimmy Dore is cultivating. And we can go on and on and on. And, and I was not prepared for the scale of negative comments here because it just goes on. I mean, how many have I scrolled down to and not found a single positive one. Here, here we go. ask Glenn Greenwald what CRT is. What the hell does Glenn Greenwald have to do with critical race theory? Nothing. Uh, you know, threats to to stop following him. I would not be surprised at all if his uh, his subscriber base fell a bit after doing this video. Um, and and you know what the sad part is? The sad part is is that Jimmy Dore is uh, is obsessed by ratios. He uh, constantly criticizes the Young Turks when their videos get ratioed. It's like proof of to him that he is right. And so I'm sure he looks at this video and sees how it got ratioed and, and realizes, hey, I, I, I'm not going to do another video on critical race theory. I can, I, can see, I can see what my fan base really wants to hear. Uh, and it's not this. And so this is only going to push him even more to the right. And the the sad thing as well is that Jimmy Dore is, is becoming a useful idiot for the right as well, because right wingers are aware of their echo chambers that they that they um, are inside. And so when you have someone who is a self described progressive, a self described real leftist, who is basically making the exact same talking points as you, then it legitimizes your views because now you have the excuse that, oh, hey, left-wingers are saying this too. Progressives are making the same arguments that my side is, so it must be true. So he's legitimizing a lot of these right-wingers. Um, yeah, it is, it is crazy. I could go on and on, but then this video is going to last for an hour or more but still n not a single positive comment from from what i've been scrolling not a single one this is this is crazy I, I like i said i was not expecting this i would have made this video anyway if like the ratio was five to one or ten to one not 200 to zero But it just goes on and on and on. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to put the link on the description if you want to see all of it. If if, uh, if someone can find me the first, uh, the first positive comment in this whole thread, um, if if I ever start a Patreon, that person will get like a free membership. But holy shit, it just goes on. So. I'm just going to leave it at that because there's no point in, in just keep on scrolling. But uh, but it's sad because, uh, like I said, the video was, was good. If, if this was your average Jimmy Dore video, um, I don't think many people would, would complain about him. No one would see him as, as uh, such a... So, so detrimental to the left, which he is. Uh, and, and, you know, you can... You can mix commentary like this with, uh, you know, appropriate anti-establishment content. I, I'm not against criticizing this. I think it should be, you know, 
I definitely think, you know, the liberal media is toxic. I, I do think that liberal politicians are, are toxic. I think the democratic establishment is, is, you know, it's, they're plutocrats, totally plutocrats. And they should be called out on it. Um, we should fight against the, uh, the forces of liberal centrism. But when you focus your critique entirely on this and make it seem like you and the far right have more in common than they don't, then you're not helping the cause at all. And, and I mean, if you look at here on the right, if you look at his other videos, like the, these are all just, you know, it, it's hysteric. It's, it's just, yeah. So there you go. Um, what a shame that this might be the only positive video I'll ever make about Jimmy Dore. Um, and like I said, one, one has to accept when they, when people one dislikes makes a, a good video with, with good arguments, solid arguments. Uh, yeah, well, there, there's no reason for me to, to not agree with it. But sadly, I, I don't think there will be many more videos like this. I, I, I think he will be very conscious of the fan base that he has. And with this kind of reaction, there is absolutely no, no market incentive to continue making videos like this. So there you go. Uh, if you like this video, please like, please share, please subscribe, and there'll be more good content. Thanks.